Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habit tafila. A question was asked which is a very relevant and pertinent question for many of our brothers and sisters. And especially in this time and age, we live in a time of extreme shahwat, extreme, not like what took place before. Uh, the level of pornography, the level of Akramakum Allah, now there's sex dolls, the level of everything we could, uh, beyond our imagination, has become the norm. So the question is, Assalamu alaikum, Ustad, I feel like my Iman is dying because of my constant thought of women. Everywhere I travel to, I try my best to not think about women, but this thought never goes away. I'm not financially able to get married, and I'm going to Egypt soon for a bit. Should I try to be patient and hold it, hold in my desires? And I know porn and masturbation is major sin. Is a major sin, so I don't engage in it. This just makes my nafs harder to control. What would you advise? And we've talked about this uh, before, but first and foremost, I would advise with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. In which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam said, uh, Ya ma'ashir al-shabab, men istata'a minkum al-ba'a filiyatazawaj. O you youth, those who, uh, from amongst you who are able to marry, then they should, uh, you know, have the means, then they should marry. And then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam prescribed in that hadith, he prescribed uh, fasting. And that fasting would help cut the shahwa. So I would advise, as the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, said, is to uh, fast as much as possible. Secondly, I would advise striving my utmost to get married. You need to tuck that in, so to speak, in order to help you even be better. For sometimes, that is, uh, it, it goes to such an extent, it affects a person's talab al-ilm. It affects everything in your life. When it becomes to that comes to that level because getting married at some can go to uh, most of the ahkam, if not all the ahkam ashar, the five ahkam, ahkam a khamsa, meaning the the five the five uh, rulings of fiqh. It can be wajib, it can be mustahab to get married, it can be uh, mubah, pro, uh, permissible for a person to get married, it can be uh, uh, makru, disliked in some circumstances. And perhaps even haram in other circumstances. So, depending on a person's status and their affairs, as you mentioned, you don't have the wealth, and you, but you have the immense desires, and it's affecting you, and it's beating you up and hurting your iman. So, if that is the case, and you fear you're going to do the haram, then you need to get married. You need to strive your utmost to get the financial means, hopefully, even if it is marrying a woman, maybe she has the means. Maybe she doesn't require that. And then later you earn the living, the required living to take care of her and you, you do the best you can. Whatever way that you can protect yourself, then you should do so. I would advise that. At the same time, I will also say that a mistake that I've seen many times over the years is that often... If you lead and let your shahwa, your desires, be the main force leading you to marry, that it's just overcoming you. Yes, you can protect you from haram, but sometimes what results is people marry quickly and they marry people they're totally incompatible with or that they uh, are not really attracted to and it becomes a disaster. And we've seen countless scenarios like that. I can speak on countless marriages, especially when traveling overseas. If you're going to Egypt, you're going to, maybe you're going to have opportunities to marry um, Egyptian or otherwise. And you, if you do this in a hurry, you know, without checking to see if it's a good family or if it's really a good sister or whatever the case may be, it can turn out to be a disaster uh, later, especially if you have children and then she's not even a religious person, you know, her beauty struck you or you really didn't look at her and she's not really that attractive, totally not your type, but you just needed to marry, then you're waking up very soon in the marriage and you're dissatisfied. So there are many issues that 
must be considered. So there isn't really a lot of these scenarios, there isn't really a black and white scenario, meaning do this and do this. But in fact, everyone has to look at their particular situation when seeking advice and what's going to be most applicable to them. So those are just some pieces of advice that I can say is that you are going to need to really consider marriage and uh, in order to probably even strengthen your seeking knowledge because you don't want to be a disaster and and find you'll find a different trial and testing uh, when you go overseas and, and the women there though there's different trials than your situation in America so that is my advice and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with thabat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad